Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Sim UK. I got totally mesmerised then by them building the toilets. So I've moved the ladies' toilets, this one here, up here. And I'm going to move the gents here. We're going to bring this wall down, secure this area. And I'm going to do the security checks here. And then the, um, the stairs to bridge all this to come over to the other side. Uh, we'll just go over the top. I think that's the best way to do it. Or maybe not. Maybe this is just the uh, unsecure area and we'll have a secure area coming over the top a different way. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that yet. We've got all this space to play with, I suppose. We don't need to worry about it too much. But uh, all these little changes lead to big improvements hopefully that is the plan at least so let me build a wall just here for the gents toilets Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that central section of bathroom out. Ah, that doesn't work very well. Most things in this game work very well, but that doesn't. Okay. So, bathroom. Toilet stalls. Urinal. Uh, some sinks. And some hand dryers. And then, ideally, we'll have a bin. And a door. I need a door. How do I get a door? Right, that is open, that is female only, and that's for everybody. And that is male only, and that's for everybody. Okay. I think we're there. So this one can be closed, and this one can be closed. Just let whoever's in there finish off. And I think that works better, it's a better use of space. Person can't leave a secure zone. Where are you trying to go to? Oh, what a buffoonio. Could this be what's been holding up all of our customers? They can't get out there because it's blocked. I think that might have been what it was. So many little strange bugs. I almost feel like that should automatically fill itself in because there's no other way of getting up here other than going through the skewer zone, so. But hey, what do I know? What do I know? Right, so the collection system seems to be working really well. There's an argument there for an extra seat, though. Look at this. Don't think there's quite enough. Are you making profit? Close. Right, so that's just shut down. Their, their contract is done and dusted. Pick and fly. Let's try them, see if they do any better. They're still open. And they're going to cancel their contract in seven days. They're still open. And they've left. All right, so let's see what we can put in as to go. See if that works any better. Hopefully it will. This one's doing well. And this one's doing really well. So 
So having a bit of seating in there really helps. I could possibly put a third one of these in here, couldn't I? So if I just grab that and move it and say there. Can I duplicate? There we go. That should help that situation a little bit. A couple of new shops opened. We're actually making some profit. Things are going quite well. We're in a good position now. Wow, I just built two new car parks. It looks like they're full already. So I'm going to have to think about expanding out this way with more car parks, more taxis, etc, etc. It's a work in progress. We're not quite there yet. Uh, we definitely have too many people working, so let's get rid of all of them. Wish there was a slider. Oh. Okay, so we'll keep 39 of them. The rest of them can go. Oh, crikey. Let's repair that before... Uh, before it comes unusable. And that as well. And that as well. And... That as well. Crikey. Right. So much stuff going on. But slowly ticking away. Slowly getting there. So I've got three gates. It kind of makes sense that I have three departure, three boarding areas. So where can I squeeze in another one of those? I guess here would be the most sensible. So I'm going to move these over here because all of our small GA style aircraft are over this side so it makes no sense that they come this way at all well <laughs> except for all of these um, but I want to streamline if I can the larger aircraft so what I might do is shut that down and remove it and then build a larger security desk I have to wait for that one to go so how wide is that oh my god one two three four five six seven wide something like that So that's three already. So four, five, six, seven. So that should be enough. Right, to my eyes, that just flows better. Although I think I've put that one too far back, haven't I? Juggernauts. Right, 
That does not look centralised. There you go, we got there in the end. Is that right? I still don't feel like that's... It's not centralised, is it? Because that's not centralised. Okay, so there's nothing I could do about that anyway, then. I could spend hours trying to figure that out. Right, so all of this can go. And we're going to build a wall. Said Donald Trump. And then that gives us loads of working space in the back here to sort of figure out all the other stuff we've got to do. Right, so I don't think we've got any problems uh, at the airport. Everything seems to be running quite nicely. It's just about progressing systematically, slowly, slowly. Uh, two sales. Zero sales. 257 sales. How does that work? I don't know where those shops are failing so badly. And I don't know what I can do to help them either. Right. What's next on the list of things that they want me to do? Oh yes, this, 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 this. This is what I'm working towards right now. And that's cleared. I can start getting the conveyor belt scanning system in place. We're definitely making some cash now. So we got a lot of emails. Look at this. Operation reports from uh, weeks ago. Incident reports. 100% success. Okay, that's good. Operations, economy, contract negotiations. Oh. Contracts open for negotiation. Brickly. Since you have enabled auto-negotiation, I, as the CFO, will take care of the negotiations for you. I will distribute the accumulated three points. Okay, good lad. Thank you very much. Oh, what's this? Dear Airport CEOs, we, the Jury of Airport of the Year Award, would like to extend our deepest congratulatory well wishes to this year's award winner. Oh, that's not us. Without question, considered to be the world's best airport across all categories this year. Well done. Along with the honour of receiving this award, the winning airport is now allowed to construct the golden AOTYA globe statue. The airport's organisation will also receive a cash prize of two million. Congratulations once again. So where were we? We didn't even qualify. What's our average rating? I don't even know. Oh, we're not a million miles off. Look, GA is 89%, airlines 84, passengers 84, security 66. That's probably because I broke the security area a few times. Airport 82 overall. Okay, so we got a little way to go. A little way to go. Maybe I should upgrade these. Excuse me. I never really felt the need to do this earlier, but, you know, I'd like to get two million in rewards. So, uh... Let's work towards it. That definitely looks cooler. Okay. Now 
This bit of green here. Do you know, I wondered what this was for. I saw this before. I wondered what this was for. I think it, I think it's for filling in gaps like that. I suspect that's what it's for. We'll find out soon. If it looks right, that's what it's for. If it looks wrong, then it, that's not what it's for. Okay, everything seems to be running really smoothly. We have a few parking spaces, but we're already running out. So expanding out this way seems to be a logical idea. I didn't mean to take that out. Sort of jumps across there, does it without you really knowing about it. Definitely getting more taxis now. Look at this. Taxis will probably complain that they don't get right up to the door, but to be fair, they're in and out a lot quicker than anyone else, so... Swings and roundabouts, buddy. Swings and roundabouts. How long is this episode? 17 minutes. Okay, so I guess we're wrapping up now. This is, I think this is what's going to be sort of a recurring event, is when you get to this size, um, everything takes a little bit longer, and everything is a little bit more time-consuming to change and fix, etc, etc, etc. But we are basically getting there little by little. Which floor tile is that? I have no idea. Okay, so that is now a secure room and that is where we will be processing the luggage Hopefully, if there's enough space. If not, we'll have to expand out into this area. But, um, yeah. I think we're making good progress, nonetheless. All right, let's wrap it up. I'm trying to keep them 20 minutes long. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.